Okay, so two weeks have basically passed by. So, um, progress update. Um, I did do a ton of clues this two weeks. If you saw the last video I posted, I was able to do four clues in a day. So, in here I'm going to show you um, the first couple of clues that weren't in the video, and then I'm going to speed through the other clues that were in the last video. On screen right now, it's just when I get stuff from clues or from Slayer um, drops that I'm not going to use, and they're worth quite a bit. I tend to go to the Grand Exchange and just like let people know that I'm going to drop some items, and you know, see who gets them and stuff. It's pretty like I think it's nice. It's better than just leaving it disappear into RuneScape world, <laughs> and it's able to help. Some people that might need it or you know some people don't need it but you know free money why not okay so I was told by a few friends that you know I shouldn't be risking going into the wild that much especially since I have like a ton of stuff that you know if I lose it's gonna be really sad but it's like you know I want to get more stuff <laughs> um, you know hoping to get third age would be pretty awesome to have on an Iron Man uh, another thing I'm starting to do is um, have a lookout if it's really deep in the wild. And I'm trying not to do the really, really deep ones by the uh, magic bank. But, you know, if you don't do the clues, there's no, like, if you have to drop clues, there's no chance of getting the third age if you just keep dropping them. Because almost every single of my clues have at least one or more steps that aren't in the wild. So. You know, unless I just plan on doing, like, less than half of the clues I'm doing now, and hope, hopefully none of them go in the wild, you know. Uh, I don't know what to do. I just know if I get PK, dude, that's going to suck really bad. Um, I know I could still suicide and run in there, you know. Um, but I'm trying not to do it since I have so much stuff. It's really annoying trying to get it all back in the looting bag and organize it. It's just I'm kind of lazy at the moment, but I might start doing that again just so I can keep doing the really deep clues. Oh, also while I was doing my fire giant test, I got a dragon mid helmet. I didn't even know they dropped them, so that was a freaking surprise. And I'm going to try to keep it um, in, you know, because it, it's pretty cool. You know, it's a rare drop and it would be nice to have. Okay, and just to remind you, I do most of my clues, well, almost all my clues from Slayer, except um, these upcoming clues. I got them from trying to get the Black Mask. My friends told me to, you know, go ahead and get a Black Mask because my Slayer level is pretty high, and, you know, it it comes in handy, you know, 15% more damage, you know, makes it, makes the task of life fast, better XP rates per hour. So I decided to camp Cave Horrors, and I did get five clue drops from them, and without logging out, and I was able to do four of them. The fifth one I wasn't able to complete, so I had to drop it. I probably did get more clues, I think, the day before, but it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't part of the four that I was able to do without logging out. But yeah, I'm finally getting my black mask. And I'm super excited. Um, it did take me over a thousand kills to get. I know some people got really lucky and got them in like a hundred or less. But yeah. And it's really boring. I, I don't like killing them. It's just like, I don't know. At least I got a, a whole bunch of herb. Well, herb seeds. Which will come in handy for training. Um, farming. So let's scroll down and see how many kills I it took. Um, 1,135. If you want to keep that number in mind, and you can compare it to when I get my second black mask. Yes, I do get another one, and you won't believe how far apart they were. <laughs> so I do um, unlock the Slayer, making this crafting a Slayer helmet, and I make my first Slayer helmet, which. It's gonna come in handy when I do like melee tasks until I get that upgraded, which I won't go for until I get a whip because I don't get enough points per every time I go 
into Nightmare Zone at the moment with this D scam. So yeah, that's gonna have to wait, but I'm just glad I got that over. Okay, so as you can see in the clip, I still do really deep wow clues. And you know, being able to finish a clue it's amazing because you'll able to see what you can get and it's pretty nice, you know, not having to drop it or you know. But a lot of people and friends have been telling me, you know, I shouldn't like really do wild clues because I could get um, PK by like a clan or something. And as you can tell by my inventory space, most of the time I don't go with food because <laughs> I have no room. But it's it's still fun, you know, because as you can see, like right there, I got a whole bunch of rune stuff that I could out and. That's a really big part of how I make my um, go pieces on my Iron Man. Like a lot comes from Slayer, and yeah, um, clues that I do, like most of them are from Slayer too. So, you know, it plays a big part in how much um, go pieces I have. So, I'll be able to go ahead and start training like construction later on. I'll actually have money for it. But yeah, it's. It's something I've been considering not doing the deep wild clues anymore. I know I, I keep re like talking about this. It's just that's all I've been thinking about today, whether or not I should keep doing the wild clues. Okay, and so I finally got a cave horror task, which I haven't got one in forever. That's another reason why I did go for the you know getting a black mask because I thought I was never gonna get that task again. <laughs> but I go ahead and do this task. And let's see my kill count before I got my second match. 1,145. That is 10 kills away from my first. So that was pretty crazy. Um, right there on screen, I did hit 90 range, which is amazing. It's my first 90 skill on my Iron Man. Also, I did get a hit point level. So I'm going to keep training uh, Slayer. And, you know, I want that freaking whip. <laughs> So there's 82 Slayer, so three more levels away from getting the Abyssal Whip. As you can see, they're right next to me. I just can't wait till I can kill them for that whip, which will be pretty amazing. So let's end this two weeks, and let's see what all we got. Okay, so I did go up nine total levels, so um, let's see. What did I level up? So as you can see, hit points went up two levels, um, strength went up two levels, um, range also went up two levels, and let's see, I know Slayer went up um, one level, and I think that's everything. Um, yeah, it's oh no, farming also went up one level, so my new total level is. 1,568 with 27.1 million XP. Um, so yeah, it's been a long two weeks. Like I've been trying to level up. It just you know Slayer takes a while. That's why I'm making these videos like every two weeks or you know it's just in one week I don't level up that much. Maybe when I'm done getting my whip, I'll start training other skills and then I can make like you know show you more content of me leveling up and stuff but yeah um the third thing in my looting bag i had a friend ask me like you know um you should show what what's in your looting bag so here's what i have in my looting bag at the moment and yeah it's a whole bunch of random stuff but it'll come in handy in the long run oh yeah and i'm gonna get rid of my dragon uh, mid helmet because it takes up too much room <laughs> So make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you like my videos, and I will catch y'all next time. Peace.